what you're going to be, uh, you know, um, to me, forgive me, but what are you going to be yapping about? <laughs> <laughs> yapping. <laughs> All right, what are you talking about? Oh, about my dogs. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> actually, um, you know, we start, it's like a, like a playwright is where everybody kind of stands together. And my very first line is, I remember when, and I remember when it actually passed. You know, my story's real simple. It was... I was a Native American. I was married to a white man. We lived on the reservation. The domestic violence increased so much. Every time I'd call tribal police, they couldn't arrest him or do anything because he was non-Native living on the reservation. So when I decided to leave, um, he uh, came to shoot me, but he shot a coworker on federal land. So it took about six hours and about eight different um, agencies just to determine who had jurisdiction. But as he went on this police chase, he injured a couple of police officers, and uh, he was finally charged with aggravated driving without a license. And my uh, domestic violence was never involved in the case at all. Okay. So you figure, as a woman who said, um, you know, listening in Washington, they said, well, this stuff never happens to Native women, especially domestic violence, sexual assault, child sexual assault, kind of really raw subjects that... Uh, our taboo on native lands. Yes. To actually tell my story to a bunch of kind of grumpy old white guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And for them to believe me that this really happened. It really does happen. Uh huh. It really happens that uh, I went to Washington, and then when Mary Catherine asked me if I could be part of the play, I was like, absolutely. If this will change one person to become a survivor and speak out, I would do it. So. I basically committed the rest of my life to help others. All right, so yeah. Violence against women. Yeah. Or who are in jail or addicted to drugs and alcohol, you know, it's like, can we honor them and pay that homage to where eventually the next generation of our Native people will start to stop that cycle? So, anybody else? Sure. I got I'm a question sorry. for you. Sure. You, you're a survivor and you're playing yourself in a pulver. Always. What do you have any techniques to get you like in the right, the right place to be able to go out there and not be able to lose? I lose it. Do you? Every time. Oh. I try. I try hard, but it's like, you know, eventually it just starts to jiggle oh. in there and then eventually mm -hmm. it comes up. But it seems like it's almost like, you know how tears are kind of therapeutic and they kind of wash oh, yeah. that pain yeah. away? Yeah. You know, that, and this is our ninth time performing this, but okay. it takes a couple of days, you know, to get rid of that trauma piece, but then I just remember, why am I doing this, and, you know, I'm alive to tell my story, so wow. here the, we go. The better yourself. It's like